Hey guys, today we're going to take a look at a quick video with a problem that's quite interesting and it's happening to a lot of us and especially if you're still on Windows 10, this has probably happened or it will happen. It's when you hit the delete something. In here, for example, I know I can delete all of them because I already did it, but this one it says, for example, cannot be completed because the folder isn't open in another uh, app and all that. This native push, it's from Filmora, but Sometimes you'll have a file that is less than friendly, which happens to be sometimes here. For example, I'm at my uh, temporary files. That is release it to go for you. You hit start, you hit uh, percentage, TMP percentage, and you get to this folder that I'm right now. And these, yes, Chrome created those. And sometimes there is actually a malware or a virus, whatever you want to call it, that's so persistent that it gets stuck here as a DLL file. Even though you are assigned as administrator, you will not be able to delete it. And if you go try to change the properties and give yourself permission for that file, you cannot. It's so persistent. There is only one way to actually delete that. And yes, I tried with antivirus and it did not even scan through it. The way is by CMD. It's actually e extremely simple command after you hit cmd hit right click and go as administrator it is when you're here all you have to do since you're inside here for example open the folder we want to delete this file here that's being a little bit tough to delete we put here del for delete space and on here we copy the entire path because sometimes dragging this and dropping it here it will work but as you see here, for example, it's not gonna work. It does not wanna work. The best way is to click somewhere away from the text. So when it all gets blue, copy it and paste it right here at the delete. Hit enter. And when you hit enter, it says yes or no. Hit yes. Enter again. And boom, the file now is gone. And this works for every time you have that file that you just cannot remove. Whether it be in your temporary folder or in your computer. And most of the time you can remove the ones that's, uh, for example, say you don't have administrative privileges. Those are the stinky ones because sometimes that could actually be malware or crypto miner or whatnot. But make sure you know that that file you are removing is not vital to your system. And how you check that? Well, just Google it sometimes. Just grab the whole file with the extension .dll, .exe, whatever it may be, and search for it. Usually if it's on the temporary folder, it is 100% safe to delete it. These are just temporary files, but sometimes that D some DLL files are actually malicious, and they found a way now, the attackers, to make it next to impossible for a Microsoft Defender or Malware Defender or Malware Bytes to actually recognize them and remove them. They're quite dangerous. But in this case, your best friend will be CMD. And as I said, again, it's extremely easy. You type DEL space, copy the uh, path of the file, copy it here, paste it here, hit enter, hit Y when it says yes or no, hit enter again and delete it. And this will force delete. So you don't need to get those third party apps that claim to do the force delete. This one actually does the force delete. And with that said, I hope this short video helped somebody out there that needed this kind of help. And let me just show you here that yes, we can actually remove them from our recycle bin. Yes, we're gonna hit continue. And as you see, that was a lot of files, almost a gigabyte on just that folder. This is all trash. There's really no use for any of that. And with that said again, I hope you liked it and it helped you in some way, shape or form. And you can send it to somebody that might need it. Please like and subscribe and check our merch in the merch store below if you wish so to support this channel or any of the links that are Amazon affiliates. And with that said, we'll see you next time. Bye.